Welcome to the Oklahoma State Board of Examiners for Long-Term Care Administrators, or BELTCA. One of the things we get the most questions on is how to apply for a license through our website. Since you're watching this video, you've found our website and you've done at least some navigating around our site. We're going to talk you through the process of applying for a license and you can pause, rewind, replay, such that you can apply without having to call and reach one of us during business hours. We hope this is helpful for you. So to get started, you can go to our website at www.ok.gov slash osbeltka. That's O-S-B-E-L-T-C-A. The first thing you're going to do is get into our system, which is what we call enrolling. Here are some of the things you want to keep in mind as you do this. First, your email address becomes your username in our system and you will be setting your own password. We highly encourage you to use your own personal email address, one that you check regularly instead of a work email address, simply because this license is your license and you may not always work at this same place. And the work email address may not always be yours either, whereas there's a better chance that your personal email address will remain the same. You don't want to be the person who changes jobs and then misses something like a notice reminding you to do something important like renew your license because you didn't get that email. Also, make sure you're applying for the correct license. Nursing home administrators, certified assistants, and adult daycare. Those are pretty dissimilar licenses or certifications and you should know if you're applying for one of those. However, there is a difference between a residential care only license and the residential care assisted living or RCAL license. If you're only planning to work in res care, you may only want to use to get to get the res care license. But if you're planning on to work in either the res care or assisted living or in assisted living only, you will want to apply for the RCAL license. A huge point here is that once you've enrolled, you will never re-enroll. And I'll probably say that again and again to make sure that you understand that you don't do it but once. As you go through the process, you'll need several documents to upload into our system. You don't have to have that all at once, but you're going to have to have them eventually. That means you're going to have to scan those files into a file on your computer using uh, uh, a thumb drive or, or directly to your computer so that you can up upload them when the time comes. You can come back later and upload, upload those documents as you collect them. We will be looking for a passport type headshot photo of you and a selfie is fine for that purpose. We will need a copy of your latest resume. If you are or have been licensed or certified as something else such as a nurse or an aide, we'll need to see copies of those documents. Uh, such as your license, we'll need a copy of your citizenship affidavit. If you're in our res care and RCAL uh, training with Ocala, you're going to be helped with those, but all others are going to need to get those from our website. You'll see under the future administrators drop down, which I'll talk about later, you'll see that at the bottom of that list there's a forms and fees link where you'll be able to go download this form and then take it to have it notarized before you scan it to upload it. We're also going to be looking for three referral letters from people you've worked with or people you know who can vouch for your character and reputation. If you've ever been arrested or had any actions to take, taken against another license, we'll need you to upload the documents for whatever that was, if that applies to you, and that's not most people. And for those who are trained by an outside entity, not Osbelka, such as through Oklahoma Assisted Living Association for Res Care or the RCAL licenses, we will need your training complaint your training certificate up, uploaded upon completion of that training. If we trained you, we know when you finished and you won't have to have that document. We'll know it. There are different education requirements for different licenses. Could be that the requirement for your license is a bachelor's degree or it could be a, a high school diploma or GED. Whichever one applies to you, have your transcript sent to us. Do not upload this yourself, but have it sent to us. And I'll show you the address on a later slide. If your requirement is a high school diploma or GED, we will accept a higher level such as a college transcript in its place. The other thing you need to, to be sure to do is to pay the application fee, which is $100 plus some bank fees. And that, everything we do is online. 
it's important that you do this because we do not see your application and what's in it until you've paid this fee. If you haven't paid, we won't know who you are and we won't have any notice that you've even enrolled in our system. So when you get to that point, make sure you pay so that we will know and be able to talk to you about your application if there's some issues. So you go to our website, looks like this, www.ok.gov slash Ozbelka, and you see on the horizontal bar several different topics, but you see future administrators. If you put your cursor over the, that, the, it will drop down and you'll see the start the application process link on there. And then we've got that pointed with the red, with the red arrow and that's what you need you to do. But I want you to look at the other things that are here because this is where a lot of things that you're going to be doing after, uh, before your license. This is where you're going to go for a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, but you can see the forms and fees link there toward the bottom of that page. So let's click on the start the application process and get started. That takes you to what we call the portal page. Since this is your first time applying for a license, you would click on the apply button on the right, which I'm pointing to with the red arrow there. If you're taking this step already, do not re-enroll. If you've already done this before, you will need to sign in by entering your email address and password on the left side. But for most of you and for our purposes, this is your first time, so click on the apply button on the right. This page should be self-explanatory, what they're looking for. This is where you'll enter your personal information, your address, your phone number, most importantly your email address, which becomes your username, and your password. I want you to pay a real good attention here because this is where you need to spell your name correctly and use proper capitalization. Your name in, in all lowercase letters is not correct. And if you misspell your name, that's what will show up on your license and all documentation. So please take a second, look this over before you hit that submit button and move to the next step. But once you are satisfied that everything is correct here, hit the submit button and we'll move on to the next page. Which actually takes you back to the page where you were in it, where you started. This is where now you will enter your email address and your password and sign in for the first time. This is how you're going to sign into the system from now on. You will never hit that apply button on the right again. You are already enrolled. You will never re-enroll. So you're now enrolled and you're signing in for the first time. Start the application and click on that sign in button on the left after you've entered your credentials. Since you've not started an application, uh, you're going to have to start one. And this is what it looks like when, when you get to that next page. It tells you you need to apply for a new license, and you would click on the Apply for a New License link at the top toward the top part of the page there. That then takes you to a page where you're going to find a drop down for the license type. You, we need to know what type of license you're applying for, and I already talked about that. Be sure you pick the right license that you want. The arrow on the right of there, license type, I will click on that and it will present you with a drop down. Pick the right one, uh, click on it, and then apply and hit the continue button on the right. And then we get into a page that looks where we have a bunch of questions for you to answer as part of the application process. And you will need to answer all of those questions. And as you do so, click on the continue button as you go down to the next page and you continue to answer those questions and scrolling down the page. Is there a lot of personal things you would know that uh, I can't really walk you through it? You need to answer them for yourself and for your circumstances. After you've answered all the questions, you'll be able to upload the documents that are needed or you can come back and do that on your own time as you gather those documents. You uh, need to click on the box that says you're testing. Uh, the information you provided is accurate and correct and then click on the continue button to move on. So you're testing and then you click on the continue button to move on. When you're uploading documents this is what that looks like on that page. You click on the type uh, has a drop down on the on the side and you tell us what type of document that is. We recommend that you be very descriptive in the descriptive line. You can type what you want there 
It'll help you as well as us to find a file later if the description tells us what the file is, such as reference letter from John Doe, perhaps, or something along those lines that describes the document accurately. You would click on the Browse button to find the file on your computer, then select it, and then when you've all that done, you would click on the Upload button, and it uploads it. When you've uploaded all that you intend to upload for the day, you would click on the Close button and move on. After you're past that, again, we need you to pay for the application. It takes you back to this page. Uh, and you pay with a debit or credit card. Everything we do in our agency is paid with debit or credit card. We don't take checks. We don't take money orders. We don't take cash. Everything's done with debit or credit card. It takes you to this page, and you click on the Make the Payment pay, uh, button down the, on the right corner toward the bottom. And that starts the process where you enter your card information into our secured payment system. And I'm not going to walk you through that whole process. So the next time you sign into your system, you'll see your application here like this. Uh, do not click on the apply for a new license. And start that process over again. Click on the blue application link to go in and update your application such as to upload additional information. If you want to do something else, perhaps to sign up for the state standards review where one is offered or to pay or take to pay to take the state exam perhaps or in the future you need to change your address or your name <coughs> you would access those processes by clicking on the I want to link on the right hand side which gives you a drop down of things you can do and then it takes you back to the payment page again to let you pay for anything that needs to be paid for so that's pretty much the process in the in whole. If you have problems, you can still call us. Residential care, assisted living, adult daycare, you would call Ginger at 522-1616, 405-522-1616. Or nursing home administrators, uh, certified assistants, you would call Pam at 405-522-1619. And you've got the address or the email addresses there for both of them. And if you're having a transcript mailed into us, which most of you will, um, this is the address for that. Osbeltka, and you have attention to Ginger or Pam, whichever one is working with your license type. That's 2401 Northwest 23rd Street, Suite 2H, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma 73107. Have that mailed to us. And that concludes the process. And if you have any questions I haven't covered, you can actually go back and review, or you can uh, give us a call if we miss something. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you and working with you throughout this process.